kausapin ngayon ang isyu ng divorsyo sa bansa, lalo pat nakalusot na sa kamera ang divorce bill. The most basic unit of society is founded upon. But marriage itself is not always a happy endeavor. Sometimes the relationship between spouses collapse. The reasons may vary, but the end result is clear. And what recourse is taken when a marriage can no longer be saved? Many countries turn to divorce, the dissolution of a marriage. Unlike annulment which declares that a marriage never existed, a divorce terminates the union along with its legal duties. The Philippines does not allow divorce, partly because there is no law allowing it, and also because our Catholic upbringing holds marriage as inviolable no matter the circumstances. Good morning ladies and gentlemen. This debate will come to order. I am pleased to welcome you all to the Legal Technique and Logic Debate 2021. The topic being debated today is should the Philippines legalize divorce? Representing the affirmative side are Ms. Sweet Pormalejo and Ms. Shara Farad. Speaking for the opposition side are Ms. Mel Malari and Ms. Alona Itspeso. And I, LTL, is your moderator. For the first round, the first speaker of each group will introduce the team and point out the reason of being pro slash contra to the topic given. For the second round, the speakers from each group will deliver the speech to express your opinion about the topic, and the other group can give the arguments. And finally, the last speaker from each group will conclude your opinion. The third round will be question and answer session. Each group will ask a question to the other group and the other group has to answer the question. Lastly, moderator will give a conclusion from those arguments by the two teams. Now, let the first speaker from affirmative team to explain the topic. The time is yours. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you for the time given to us to participate in this debate. Let me introduce my team. My name is Shara Karam, it's the first speaker, the third speaker, and I'll deliver our reason why we are for this topic and conclude our opinion. And my friend is here with me, Ms. Ruth Formalejo, as the second speaker. She will deliver the arguments in the first. So we choose to be pro with this topic because divorce in the Philippines has been an issue for several years. In fact, the Philippines is the only country in the world besides the Vatican that does not allow divorce, mostly due to religion. Moreover, our present situation demands for it. Reality tells us that there are many failed and happy marriages across the nation. Marriage is never as blissful as people expect. Divorce is never as devastating as people imagine. Divorce gives people a fresh start to lead better lives. Moreover, living in a marriage where love, respect, friendship, and compatibility are gone is a life without hope. Certainly, there are many pros and cons of divorce in the Philippines. So after discussing this topic, we hope that we can increase the positive side and decrease the negative side of legalizing divorce here in the Philippines. That's the opinion from Affirmative Team. And it's time for the first speaker of Negative Team to give your opinion. The time is yours. Thank you. First of all, let me introduce my team. My name is Mel Malyari as the first and third speaker. I will deliver the reason for us being contrary with this topic and conclude our arguments. Here's my friend, Alione Espejos, the second speaker. She will deliver the arguments in the contra side. Divorce is already legalized in every single country around the world, except in the Vatican City and our own Philippines. For this reason, many believe that we have the right to follow the suit. However, we believe that divorce is unconstitutional, that it is anathema to the Filipino culture, that it is immoral, that it will destroy Filipino families, which is the foundation of our society. Moreover, it will legalize promiscuity, and it will increase the greater number of broken families that it will be abused 
by spouses who find it easier to give up on their marriage rather than reconcile their differences. Another thing is that it will lead to custody battles among their, their children. The children will be disoriented and deprived of their parents' attention. This will somehow lead to a more serious scenario of crimes. Absence of parents' guidance will tend to trigger the child to wander around, seeking refuge from friends, not minding the effects. Possibility of prostitution, rape, rugby, drugs, pickpockets, and other serious crimes among our kabataans. Okay, that's the opinion from Negative Team. The next turn is from the second speaker of Affirmative Team to give your arguments. The time is yours. Thank you for the opportunity to discuss our arguments in regards with legalizing divorce in the Philippines. We believe that it's better that Filipinos must have a cheaper options or has more options when it comes to their family and their marriage. It's better that we give them what they want. Especially right now that our societies society is slowly becoming more progressive with the laws that has been presented in the Senate and in the House of the Representatives and with more advocates that has been fighting for human rights. Divorce will be cheaper than the moment and that the process will be faster. From our existing options in the dissolution of marriage here in the Philippines, say for example in the separation, even if you have been physically separated from one another, the marriage is still intact. The person who gets separated still cannot remarry, otherwise they will be charged with legally. The person also cannot be engaged with sexual relationship with another person because they may be charged with adultery or marriage. So advantage meaning of having a divorce law is that the person has the option to terminate a valid marriage may not the person where no longer has to be applied. It's not a legal separation because legal separation you can still be physically separated from each other but the marital bond is still subsisting. This light of the divorce law in the past will then give them a good Filipinos, particularly women, unable to afford the cost of employment or seeking more culture than them to date legal separation. In addition, the legislator is now seeing and more hearing more facts on the issues as a growing number of victims come out and share their experiences. Filipinos who strongly believe that the force should be legalized in the Philippines claim that the bill is pro women legislation. That the force is the best ex exit for Filipinos experiencing domestic violence, abandonment, and adultery, since annulment and legal separation aren't enough to save them from the consequences of a failed union. Thank you. How about the arguments from Negative Team? For the second speaker of Negative Team, the time is yours. In our country, we have an existing constitution that protects life, promotes moral aspect and healthy social relationship. This aims that the future generation are still influenced by our Filipino culture at a wholesome aspect. As the constitution protects life, this pertains to the well-being of a person and and the whole being this per this also tackles about the physical emotional and mental of a in which marriage is a big part if we are going to legalize divorce this may normalize broken families that may produce rebellious children in addition the public, regardless of their marital status, is no more open to accept the possibility of divorce. Everyone should have the right to escape from bad marriage and be happy again. Falling into the wrong decision actually happens. If we legalize divorce in our country, people with failed marriages will be given a chance and freedom to choose the right one for them. So they will not have to suffer 
a marriage that's not working anymore. Moreover, there's no assurance that people who will get divorced want to find a new spouse. Every day, there are Filipinos who get married, bear children, separate, and get into relationship, regardless of what the law says. The lack of divorce law in the Philippines complicates further the marital and family problems of many Filipinos. Our government is clearly failed to respond to their needs. If the country wants to move forward, it has to confront the realities of marital and family life of the Filipinos in the Philippines. Let's give other people another chance to live life with their desired happiness. The divorce law needs to be legalized in the Philippines now. Divorce has been seen to have a negative impact on children, especially during the transition period as they deal with the separation of their parents. This may manifest in various ways, such as diminished social skills, proneness to anger, and irritability. This may affect a child's mental and physical health, as it is difficult to cope up with one's problem when a family is broken. In addition, the divorce may influence a child into losing faith in the concept of family entirely which lead to another negative effect of this process. Marriage is sacred. As what the saying says, ang pinagsama ng Diyos ay huwag paghiwalayin ng tao. First and foremost, a family should be nurturing. They should be loving. There has to be that environment that is going to keep all of the family members happy. People think that marriage is always peaceful, and that divorce is always devastating. But that's not the Sometimes, in order for your kids to have a nurturing family environment, you have to do what's best for them. And sometimes, what's best for them is for the parents to separate, especially when there's a loss of family environment. We do believe that the Filipino people should be given a choice whether they would like to have a divorce or not. It is not necessary to mean that if we have a divorce, all marriages will end in divorce. So we think that it's a choice that should be given to all the families. Let's face the reality here. There are marriages that are really boundless in the first place. Or at least there are marriages that will subject one or group of the couple to like unhappiness, physical abuse, or even domestic violence. So in order to address these issues, I guess I just try to give them an option to terminate the marriage instead of allowing one person to cut in prison just because they are married. Divorce should not be seen as a remedy, not be seen as a pill, or be even an answer to their problems. As Filipinos, we talk about our values. The ability to honor our pledges and this is something that the Filipinos should be known for. Time is up. All arguments have been given. And now, please provide your conclusion. For the speaker from Affirmative Team, the time is yours. To conclude, divorce has a lot of advantages in the Philippine settings. First, divorce is cheaper and faster than annulment. To conclude, divorce has a lot of advantages in the Philippine settings. First, divorce is cheaper and faster than annulment, which is the current legal process similar to divorce in the Philippines. Second, we are putting an end to abuse. Third, we can enjoy newfound freedom. Fourth, we can reconnect with the kids and more importantly, it will provide a remedy that Article 36 does not. Divorce does not concern itself with the validity or invalidity of a marriage. It terminates a marriage based on the grounds that occurred during the marriage, which makes the marital relationship no longer tenable, regardless of the spouse's psychological constitution. A divorce law will provide a straightforward remedy to the marital family. It will benefit Filipinos, whatever they are. Thank you. What about the conclusion from Negative Team? Let the speaker provide your conclusion. The time is yours. From those arguments, we can conclude that divorce should not be legalized in our country. 
for the benefit of the children's physical, psychological, and emotional state, as well as the protection of the family. We should continue our fight against the full passage of the divorce bill. It is not yet too late to take stand for to protect the sacredness of marriage in the Filipino families. Well done. The next session is question and answer. The first question is from affirmative time. The time is yours. To the speakers of the negative side, if you don't agree with the legalization of divorce in the Philippines, considering the current situation of our nation, is our current legal process of nullifying marriage different or advantageous than divorce? Thank you. Okay, it's enough. For the negative team, please respond the questions. The time is yours. Annulment is different from divorce. When we say divorce, couples has the discretion if they are no longer happy together, they can file for a petition to separate. While in annulment, there are many elements or grounds for annulment. Annulment is different from divorce. When we say divorce, couples has the discretion if they are no longer happy together, they can file for a petition to separate. While in annulment, there are many elements or grounds for annulment. Okay. The next turn is from negative team to ask some question for the affirmative team. The time is yours. To the speakers of the affirmative side, do you think divorce will help in the preservation of families and sanctity of marriage? Thank you. For the affirmative team, please respond the question. Well, question and answer session has been completed. From this debate, we can conclude that legalization of divorce in the Philippines has a lot of positive and negative benefits. Philippines as the only country in Asia in which Christianity is the national religion and religion still plays a central role in the lives of most Filipino, and with the divorce bills passing in the lower house of Congress, we can say that the end is in sight for divorce law reform. And I, as moderator apologizes if there are any mistakes in my speech or behavior either intentionally or unintentionally. We thank our speakers for sharing your side and your thank you for your attention and see you next time.